Hi gamers, Vampire Survivors is a unique blend of roguelike, shoot 'em up, and casual gameplay. Players must survive a variety of weapons and power ups to survive waves of monsters. It's a simple yet addictive game offering variety and customization. If you enjoy this type of gameplay, here are the top 15 best roguelike games similar to Vampire Survivors that you should play. Please note, I didn't put games with advanced graphics because which will be covered in the next video. So without further ado, let's get started. Holocure This is a free unofficial fan game featuring the VTuber talents of Hololife and its surrounding community with gameplay heavily inspired by Vampire Survivors and Magic Survival. Surprisingly, this fan game is really well done. It stands up to other games in the same genre. It's a fun and challenging game that tests your skills and strategies. I think Holocure is a great way to show appreciation and support for the Hololife members and their fans. Axe Invader is an action roguelike survival game that lets you become a master hacker and hack into the digital world. Fight your way through the pixel art graphics and customize your fighting style to defeat sinister enemies and bosses in an arena shooter setting. It has a cool cyberpunk theme and catchy soundtrack. The game is fun and addictive, and it can appeal to fans of action, roguelike, and hacking genres. If you like the pixel art style and the fast-paced gameplay, then you must try this one. Scarlet Tower is an exciting game that smoothly blends gothic horror, roguelike, and RPG elements. You can choose to play as one of seven unique characters, each with their own sets of skills, and explores a variety of maps filled with enemies. Find weapons, relics, and power-ups to get better at fighting and staying alive. You can also get help from companions as you go through day and night cycles. The game has a cool art style, lots of ways to customize your characters, and a system that adjusts how hard the game is, making it something you can play over and over again. Spielberg Demon Slayer is a game where you protect the cosmic library by slaying endless hordes of demons. The gameplay is fast-paced and challenging, requiring you to dodge bullets, use spells strategically, and survive against waves of demons. You can choose from over 100 spells that can be combined and upgraded in different ways. Each spell has its own elements, type, shape, and effect. Each run is different and randomized, making it highly replayable, and the game has many secrets and easter eggs hidden throughout the dungeon. Another good game like Vampire Survivors is the game Spirit Hunters Infinite Horde. The game takes place in a dark fantasy world where both magic and technology exist. The game has a skill web that can be improved with meta progression materials earned by leveling up. Skill choices and leveling are no more important. The game visuals and dialogue are drawn in written in a comic book style. The game also has three difficulty modes, normal, hard, and hardcore. Hardcore mode is a permadeat mode where you lose everything if you die. Time Wasters is a game that lets you explore the far reaches of space and fight against various enemies while collecting time and space cubes. These cubes allow you to manipulate time and space, giving you an edge in combat and unlocking new possibilities. The gameplay is fast and challenging, but it is not hard to get frustrated. The game features a colorful and vibrant pixel art style with smooth animation and dynamic lighting effects. Accompanied by a catchy and energetic soundtrack that perfectly matches the fast-paced action. Nomad Survival is an auto-attacking web clearing time-based roguelike where you can expect to get stronger as you play through each run by upgrading your stats. It's quite challenging, 
so plan your character's abilities wisely. Heritage are a cool feature that can completely change your character and the way you use your weapons. The chess are also exciting because they give new effects to random abilities, not just upgrades. The bosses are like fun puzzles with unique mechanics that add refreshing twists to the game. Bounty of One is a fast-paced roguelike bullet hell game focused on mobility. You can play solo or join up with your friends in co-op mode with up to 4 players. The latest update has improved gameplay and added unique multiplayer features. Multiple characters with legendary upgrades, refined progression and balance items add to the gameplay. With additional bosses, enemy variety, and smoother mechanics, it's now a recommended choice for fans of bullet hell games especially those looking for multiplayer games. Bio Prototype is a fun and entertaining approach to the bullet hell genre of games. Different monsters, different characters, and their own skills, good weapon upgrades, and a combination system. The game slaps up to its title. Imagine you can touch and modify the sequence of DNA you get different type of monsters with different patterns of attacks. Well, this game does that and more. It offers plenty of variety and replayability with 19 characters, offers 40 organs and endless build combinations. It has fast-paced and challenging gameplay that requires strategy, skills, and adaptation. Nordic Ashes Survivors of Ragnarok is a challenging action roguelike hell where you'll have to survive hordes of creatures. The game is captivating fusion of Norse mythology and roguelike mechanics. The visually stunning graphics and art style contrast the dark setting with vibrant characters and enemies, creating an immersive atmosphere. The game's fast-paced and challenging gameplay provides plenty of replay value through random gameplay. Bone Razor Minions, it offers unique gameplay where you battle enemies in an arena while building balancing your army of minions. The process of collecting runes to enhance your abilities adds depth to its run. The game meta progression allows you to upgrade your character with earned gold providing a wide range of enhancements and upgrades. I enjoy experimenting with different combinations of minions and seeing how they interact with each other and with enemies. Hulls of Torment is a roguelike horde survival game that pits you against waves of terrifying monsters in a dark and twisted dungeon. The game has a permadeath system which means that if you die, you will lose all of your progress and items, but you will be able to unlock new content and characters for future runs. The enemy movement patterns are quite varied and difficult. The game's atmosphere is a great mix of nostalgia and immersion with cool retro graphics reminiscence of classic 19s RPGs. Twenty minutes still down. In this game, players engage in twenty minutes survival matches against hordes of aliens, progressively facing togger boss enemies every five minutes. No deep story, just wild gameplay. You will love it because it's challenging and addictive. The game has a directional aim and active firing system that gives you precise control over your attacks. The game also has a dynamic upgrade system that lets you choose from over 15 different options to customize your build. The atmosphere and overall aesthetic are really cool. If you like fast-paced action and talk challenges, you will want to check this out. Rogue Genesia is a bullet hell that when you add RPG and roguelite to the mix becomes much more than vampire survivors. It's a test of skills and strategy with a top-down shooting mechanic, 16 unique weapons and a collection of buff and skills card to collect. The game has two game modes, rogues mode for world ending bosses and survivors mode against endless waves. The pixel art visuals of the game 
the dynamic lighting and the catchy soundtrack all add to the thrilling experience of the combat. With addictive gameplay, frequent updates, I recommend this game to fans of action and roguelite games. Brotato is a fun and simple game with addictive gameplay. There's a lot of weapons, from fists to rocket launchers. The game is very balanced and easy. Fun to play when you bored? Just when you think you're done, there's always something new like a combo or a new character. The variety of characters is huge and you have to unlock them which makes it more fun to play. The graphics are colorful and simple and the soundtrack is great. I would definitely recommend this game, it's very cheap and well worth the money you spend in terms of fun. Trust me. And that's it for today. If you know another good roguelike like Vampire Survivors with pixel or 2D graphic, you can tell me by comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to lose another great list. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.